Hello and good morning and welcome to my channel. Um, I've got a little bit of news before I start. So um, we've had a lot of snow. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of snow. Um, and um, it's even been to the point where I haven't had mail, gotten mail in three days, four days. Um, but um, some of the schools went back today and it's supposed to continue for the next two weeks off and on. Um, I'm hoping that some of this melts off because we can't get out of our driveway. Yeah, so um, cause we've got about 13, 14 inches of snow. Anyway, um, I just wanted to let you know that. that um, so I am, I have a couple um, challenges uh, that I was entering and um, so I have to get a hold of those ladies and let them know that um, I'm not going to be able to get their packages out to them in time for the challenge to end um, because uh, I can't even get to the post office. Um, so <laughs> anyway, okay, so I have some new dies to show you and um, I'm going to start with this word die. It says, wishing you a lovely birthday. And I really like, uh, it does come in pieces. So um, there's actually three pieces, which that's not too bad. You know, you can straighten that up fairly easy. So I thought that was a nice die. And then here is another um, word die. And I'll just put it this way because it shows you what it says. And here it is cut out. And I really like this one too. I think this is really pretty. And you know, you, if you um, wanted to, you could take out and cut these apart, um, just like any other thing. You can. Oops. You can always. Looks like I tore that. Oh, um, you can always. Um, you know, trim your dies up to create other dies. I wanted to show you what I did. Um, I have this die from last year. This heart die. And it cuts into the paper, but I thought I would really like to see if I could get it to, you know, get it cut out. And so this is what I did. Um, I actually cut it out. I actually cut it out into the paper, and then I just went ahead and fussy cut around it. And I thought, wow, that'd be great for all my dies that cut in. There's, I have a lot of dies that just cut in that um, would look really cool on something that. Um, where it didn't cut in. So I just wanted to show you that. I thought that one turned out really pretty and it wasn't that hard either. Okay, I have another word die here. If I can get it, Let's see what this is. This one here. And uh, for some reason, I don't have the die here. But anyway, this one says, be my Valentine. And it comes in one, um, just one piece, like that. And here is an Easter die that I got. It's an Easter egg with a bunny. And it actually cuts out, it cuts out the bunny and everything. So here's the bunny and here's what the bunny would look like if it, you cut it out with all the things. And so um, this is what the die would look. The die looks like after it's been cut out. So I just thought I'll probably just end up um, laying it on top of, say, a piece of glitter, white glitter cardstock, and um, just cutting around that, and then gluing, actually gluing it onto the card to the that, and then it would only be for the inside portion of the egg. So <clears throat> it's nice. And then I've got some um, nesting dies. Let's see. Nesting dies to show you. There is, this is a, a three piece set. And when you cut this is actually, I don't know if this was the way the designer intended, but 
when it cuts out, it cuts out a frame and it cuts out the inside. So what you're actually getting is two dies in one. You're getting a frame and an inside on all three of them. So this is what I did. I cut them out in two different papers, white and um, printed, and then I just um, put the frames around them like that. So you could use it that way or you could just use this piece here and you could use the frame for something else. Um, but um, you could interchange them this way as well. So I thought that would work out good. And it looks like I have actually forgotten another word die set over here. Sorry about that. But, um, or is this... Oh no, this is, yeah. Okay, so I must have already put them away. I apologize for that. And um, so I have these two word dies. Um, thank you and uh, made with love. And here is a new die to me. This one right here. So this one is three pieces. It comes with this, which um, this does not cut out in the middle. If you want it cut out, you're going to have to put um, the circle in. And you could remove this and just use the, the circle, which would cut out in the inside. Or you can use this. You know, I'll show you a, a couple examples of what I'm talking about. So here is it cut out without uh, using the circle. And here is uh, the circle and here's that little doily piece um, cut out. So um, it would cut out a circle that size. And let me see if I have it down here. Here it is. And then here, let me move this one over here. This is what it looks like if, it, if you would cut it out by, you know, without, uh, yeah, put the circle in there and cut it out. So I just cut it out in some different um, papers that I had uh, laying up by my machine. Um, and... Um, I thought those turned out pretty. So here is one that I kind of put together um, uh, to put on a card. And what I did was I took another circle. Let me move these. I took another, cir uh, another circle. This is actually a tattered laced uh, die. And um, this is a sentiment that I printed out on my computer. And I just cut around it and... So you could do that as well by just putting, you know. Um, and I, I was thinking you could also, there's a, these slits up here. And you could actually run some ribbon through that and use the die this way with a piece of ribbon running across here. I mean, there's so many. You could cut this and use just the top without, you know, not the bottom. Just use the top part because it cut off right here. There's so many things you could um, actually do with it. It would, um, it would, uh, it's a very versatile die. I mean, you could use a lot, do a lot of really cool things with it. Okay, now um, here is some paper piecing dies. And this is the first one. Oops. And here's the first set. This is um, a bear and a um, uh, Kind of a sky, I guess you'd say, sky moon, with the moon behind him. So let me show you what he looks like. I have done two of them. This is my first card front that I did. So what I did was I took um, this piece that I already had die cut out in my stash, which was just plain white. I um, glued um, this on first. Then I went over it with... Um, the two 
my two favorites that I use for um, distress inks that I use for skies, and that is Stormy Sky and um, <laughs> uh, I can't remember the other one now. Um, anyway, and so that's the first one that I did. And then this is the second one I did, and I really love this one. So, um, again, I had already had this cut out using one of my dies, and um, I did the same thing. I put the circle down, and then I proceeded to do the, the coloring um, on it, and then I put the bear on, and then um, I was going to put this blue, met blue um, metallic um, paper behind it, and... Um, Peggy um, had told me one, or showed us one time that um, to save on paper, you don't really need to put a, the whole piece behind it. So I thought, well, you know, I don't have much of it, so I think that's what I'll do. So I just cut it to fit, and then I glued it down, and um, so that it's just around the inside, and that way I save so much, um, you know, I don't have to cover all this that you wouldn't see anyway. It'd be such a waste of paper. So I think this one turned out really cute. I like that. And then next is another, um, oops, next is another um, nesting die set that I have. I got, and it is, I think, five pieces maybe. So we have these. <clears throat> and this one. So there we have those five. Okay. And this is what it they look like cut out. I, I really like the design. I think it's really pretty. And um, just like any nesting die, there's a variety of things you can do with that. Um, but I really like the um, the design on that one. It's so much nicer to have something around on the a design than just uh, the plain cut all the time. So there's that. And then I'm going to show you one more here. And then I'll have to come back with um, the rest of them. So this is a unicorn that I got off of eBay. And um, I called a baby unicorn. I don't know if it's supposed to be that, but that's what I call it because it kind of is small, you know. So here it is. Um, I cut it out and put it together. And um, let me see. Let me put this down. No, it's white, so it probably won't show. But anyway, so you put, there's a little place you put the little feet there. So it has a hooves as well. And... Um, I think it's cute. I like it. So that is my um, video for this um, time. And I will be back again with some more um, videos. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.